Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Plant Based Storm. I'm Stormy if you're new here. And I did a grocery trip today and I wanted to just do a quick video. And I wanted to share it with y'all my grocery store haul today. Um, it was a pretty big one because we had let ourselves run out of a lot of things. Um, just had a busy week last week. So I wanted to go ahead and talk about this, especially for somebody that might be new to a whole food plant-based diet. Um, they might not really imagine that it would be this many fresh vegetables. So let's go ahead and get started and go through it and see what we got here. So I'm gonna go through some of the cold stuff because I'm gonna go ahead and put this up after I talk about it. Um, I don't really have that much cold stuff out, but I would like to get it up before it just sits out here for too long. So I actually bought some soy milk and I usually always buy organic soy milk because of the way that it's grown and processed. Most non-organic soy is genetically modified. So I want to make sure that we get soy milk that is not GMO'd and it's non-GMO verified here. So that's why I buy that. My kiddo goes through uh, this during the week. Hey, so it's summertime and we're in full swing of fruit season. I have a bunch of fruit that I'm gonna go through that's sitting over here. But what I do have right here in front of me is a watermelon. We love a watermelon like most people do. Like to cut it up and get it good and cold and put it in the refrigerator. And then we actually bought three cantaloupe, which, most people probably don't eat that much cantaloupe, but me and my husband can sit down here and eat a half of one of these. They are called Sugar Kiss, and these are like the sweetest um, cantaloupe that I think I've ever had. They taste like pure sugar, and they are so, so good. So we got that. Grapes, um, we usually always keep grapes. My kid loves these, and we love these, and I will end up washing these off and putting them in a bowl for us to just walk by and every time that we want one we can grab it and it makes a really good quick snack to throw in your bag and take with you and we also love cherries and they're very sweet right now this time of year and these are some delicious dark sweet cherries so we've really been enjoying these right now <clears throat> And I know I bought like a lot of fruit. Like I said, whenever we get over there, you'll see really how much fruit we bought. But I always get asked about snacks and that's what we usually try to stick to is fruit for our snack. And this is another kind of melon and it is called a delicious dew, delicious golden honey dew. And I have never actually had one of these. So this is something that we're gonna try and see how we like it. And then of course we've got like a ton of greens and this isn't the only greens that I have. I have frozen greens, but these are gonna be used. These are some Brussels sprouts and I got some baby bok choy. And we'll cook all of this kind of stuff, this fresh greens for like our dinner. And I can use some of this to pack up for lunch too. Um, we've got some cauliflower. I like to make sauces out of cauliflower. And of course we like to eat it like steamed and we like to roast it in the oven and sometimes we put it on the grill. And I've got like four of these, but I only put one of these out because these are something that we use a lot like in salads or we make our sauce out of it for our pizza, which that is in my what I eat in a week video. Um, and then we've got greens, all kinds of greens. So we've got collard greens, mustard greens, and turnip greens, and radishes, and broccoli, and green cabbage, and red cabbage, because we try to get in our cruciferous vegetables every week. And we've also got some asparagus, which we will love to put this in the oven and put it on the grill. Um, do different things with it, but that is our two most favorite things to do with that. And then I've got daikon radish because I'm planning on making like an Asian slaw this week. So I'll use like the carrots and the daikon and both of the cabbage that I bought. And then we're going to put some of the corn on the grill. So just because you're on a whole food plant based diet doesn't mean that you don't, you wouldn't use a grill because we actually use it quite a bit. And then we've also got <clears throat> some cucumber that I would use, you know, for salads or just to eat 
for a snack or along as the side i like to put some vinegar over it sometimes um, and then we will also use it in like our sushi um, rolls or sushi bowls <clears throat> And then I love to eat this like with my vegetables, um, just raw, just like it is, or as a garnish on different plates. So this is just plain green onion. And then we also got red onion and some yellow sweet onion because I use this in almost every meal that I make. Um, we just you go through a lot of onions around here. And then let's see what else. Something else. If you may not see people show whenever they're on a whole food plant based diet is like if you are ever wanting like a coke or something like that like you're trying to not drink cokes because you just want it to be healthier or you don't want the sugar or whatever then we like to get just the sparkling water and this is actually non-gmo as well and it's flavored it's the waterloo sparkling water and i don't even remember what flavor i think it's watermelon so we got that to try um because we've never had this flavor and then i do like to have like some melba toast that i keep on hand there's really not a whole lot of ingredients it's just mainly like wheat yeast molasses and vinegar and a little bit of sugar so like i like to use this you know for different um put different toppings on or to eat with different things that you would typically eat crackers with and then of course i've got garlic i bought a few bolts of this because like the onion i always cook with garlic so that's like a staple um, produce here and then shallot because shallot brings a different flavor profile to the table so i use shallot for different things um, and i love to use this in asian cooking as well and then we always have greens for salads because we do try to get in a salad every single day so we like to uh, try to keep it mixed up this is actually baby kale and then this is arugula and then this is romaine baby red butter and arugula blend and then this is the better burger lettuce burger this is the better burger lettuce and i love this lettuce it's like a house brand for H-E-B, which is where we shop at. But um, it's just kind of like a loose leaf lettuce, and I love to use this for wraps, um, to wrap stuff up in and eat it. And then this is one of our favorite blends, and it's just a baby sweet leaf spring blend. So that's what we like to use for our salads. And then I needed some tomato paste. This is like, if you just need some tomato paste and don't want to open an entire can, then this is like perfect. Um, a lot of people are familiar with this. Maybe some people aren't, but it comes in a tube and you just like roll it up as you go. And so like if you just need a tablespoon of tomato paste instead of having to open a whole entire can, you could just squeeze this and measure out a tablespoon or a teaspoon or whatever it is, put it back in the refrigerator and you're good to go without having to worry about what you're going to do with the rest of the tomato paste so that you don't waste it. Um, so that is a must have for us. And then some things over here. I was out of nutritional yeast, which is definitely a staple because you use this in so many different whole food plant based recipes to give it like an umami flavor or a cheese flavor because this has kind of like a cheesy flavor. So this is a super important ingredient in my book. <clears throat> And then just kind of like stock back up on some of our black beans and some of our chickpeas. And I really love this brand, um, Eden. It, uh, it's organic and it has no salt added and it's also non-GMO, which are all important to us. Um, this does have 15 milligrams of sodium for a half cup, but that's like almost nothing for a canned food. And if I'm not mistaken, this one has 50 milligrams. So we have to watch our sodium intake um, because my husband has to watch his. And so these are fantastic for us. And a lot of people that are on a plant-based diet don't eat a lot of sodium anyway. Okay, so the next thing that I got, I'm really excited about. I actually think these are supposed to be um, like a paleo, for a paleo style diet. But a lot of times I know that um, something that is in the realm of the paleo world will also work for a whole food plant-based diet. There's nothing in this. There's no animal products in this 
and there's also a very low sodium and hardly any added sugars so as a matter of fact it says organic unsweetened and this is a barbecue sauce and the brand is primal kitchen i have not yet tried this but i came across it i was looking high and low for some barbecue sauce that was pre-made that i could just have ready to go like for a quick meal and um that came across this so i bought that and this one is also the hawaiian style barbecue sauce so i bet it has some pineapple in it and it does it's almost one of the first ingredients and it's the same brand so it is all um things that can, we can have um, on a whole food plant-based diet so i'm looking forward to trying both of these maybe like with some jackfruit or something like that like a pulled pork jackfruit um and then I've got some miso here and this is the if this is an organic whole soybean um, miso with brown rice and sea salt and koji and it says that this is a traditional fermented miso and it's artesian made so I got this to add to our soups and different cooking um, different dishes that we cook that we might want to season up um, without having to have like a ton of sodium in it so um, this is usually, there's a lot of whole food plant-based recipes that also call for miso. And of course, I've got shiitake mushrooms because we cook with these a whole lot. And then our tomato plants have given out on us, so we have had to start buying tomatoes again. And these are just like the little cherry-sized tomatoes. And then the Campari tomatoes, these are our two favorite. This one is called Flavor Bombs. And they are so good they are heb brand i haven't seen them in any other brand i'm not sure if this is like a, a brand trademark by heb or if it's just like a common name for a certain tomato but they really are good they taste homegrown and then the campari tomatoes now i think you can get that in different brands um and the campari is just like the name of a tomato um so those are very delicious and then my mushrooms we like to use that like on the grill or in different cooking and um, just all kinds of various different things and then something new that i came across today or new to me i should say is these tostadas and they are called mi tienda and they are baked and there's no oil in them and they just have whole grain corn and water and less than two percent um, preservatives so that's pretty good if you ask me it's something that I don't have to do it's not fried because a lot of the tostadas are already fried so it's only got like one gram of fat and that's for like three tostadas so that's pretty decent and I got these so that they would kind of be even a quicker meal that I could go to and then of course my beloved avocados i know so many of us love avocados i like to buy the small ones because i don't eat like a whole avocado um at one time because i'm still trying to lose weight so um the small ones work perfect for that and i can put like take a quarter of this out and put it up now my husband on the other hand he may eat a whole one so we buy about four or five of them at a time all right we got some peaches and these are like some apricot plum kind of like cross i'm not sure we've never tried these we got a couple of them to try and then we got some um, apples and oranges and mango and lime and lemon i cook with this a lot we put this in our drinks a lot then we also have like some pineapple which we'll either use on our pizza or just cut up for a snack i love to keep ginger um, root for cooking you can just break a piece off chop it up and add it to whatever it is you're cooking that calls for that and then of course bananas because we've always got bananas here okay so that was that's our whole food plant-based haul and i hope that was helpful in some way if you like what you see please don't forget to share and subscribe and as always thank you so much for watching